Hello, I'm Ari and this is Shamelessly Creative. Today I have an art haul video, but of course since we're not going out, the art haul has been coming to me. So today I have a bunch of stuff that has arrived in the mail, new art supplies that I've been wanting to try. So I'm kind of excited to show you what has arrived. So I shopped at Jerry's Artorama, Jackson's, art supplies out of the UK, Amazon, and Etsy. So those are the four places this week I shopped online to get new art supplies. So I love art supplies, whether, you know, it's a joy for me to collect new watercolor palettes or new supplies, but I'm also a little bit of a stress shopper. So and my go-to for stress is art supplies. So I've been shopping a little bit more than I normally would, but I thought, you know, we have a lot of time on our hands lately and it would be nice to experiment with some different watercolors. So I'm trying several brands that I've heard about and that are supposed to be pretty good paints. So I kind of picked up a different range, mostly watercolors, but I did pick up some odds and ends while I was shopping. And I kind of miss going to the big box stores. You know, it's kind of like you don't miss it until you can't go. And shopping at those, I, I like going in with my coupons. I don't like shopping online. You know, for the distance art stores, I always shop online or for really good deals, but when I just want to wander around the store and pick up something new, you know, it, it's just not the same when you do that online. So I don't know if you feel that way too, but you know, there's sometimes you just want to go wander around and see what piques your interest, where online, I don't know, it's just not the same, at least not for me. So it's not as satisfactory to shop online for art supplies sometimes, except for the hard to find things. All right, so let's get started. I am excited to show you what I picked up because it's fun for me to evaluate what's come in. First up from Jerry's Artorama, I picked up two, four, eight of the Detail Rhapsody Kolinsky Sable Creative Mark brushes. So these are all in the really small size. This is the largest size two. But I'm always struggling with like eye details. So this is a two zero size, nice and wee. I think this set only went down to a three zero. Yep, this is a three zero. Very wee, so, so three zero. Two zero. And then the two. So to compare. But this was the Creative Mark brand available at Jerry's Artorama. They were on they were like their Kalinsky brushes. And they were on sale for like a quarter of the price. So I snagged them. All right, so that's what I did. So I picked up two zeros, a one, a two, two, three times zero, and two, two times zero. So I wanted a set for my watercolors and a set for my inks. And this is the Rhapsody Kalinsky Sable Creative Mark brushes available on Jerry's Artorama. I'm not sure how they perform yet because I haven't painted with them. I haven't been painting 
this week and it's kind of weird. So I'm hoping um, today with looking at my art supplies with you that that'll kind of encourage me to get back to painting. I've just been sketching. That's kind of all I really felt like doing. Um, I'm still under the weather so I just just don't have the energy to commit to sitting down and getting everything out and painting you know that that length of time. So I guess it's okay, you know, it's okay to just step back and do some sketching for a while until I get my energy back. So the next thing I picked up is the sign pens. You might remember we picked, we had some of these extra fine micro brush pen, sign pens from Pentel in the January palette packs. And I didn't think I liked them that much but they really did put a smooth line and the inking on a couple of mine were really dry that came in the box but I really liked the one that was a little bit more wet so I thought you know what I these were on Amazon warehouse I picked them up for about half price because they were open like this and but they all are full of ink and I tested them all out they're they're all ready to go for drawing and I my thought is even though though these aren't reusable if I got the different colors um, my own ink that I have I could use them as dip brushes so I know I don't know I don't know if it'll work but once they're dried out I thought maybe I could reuse them as a dip brush because I really like the tips on these micro brushes so we'll see how that works but I will probably be doing a bunch of sketching with these in the next couple weeks so you can see the different colors probably on Instagram so that was fun also from Amazon I picked up a Winsor Newton Cotman watercolor set I know a lot of people don't like these to me these these are really great starter sets when you are starting out and just want to experiment with color or just want to doodle around I think these are really great and my I'm not I and I guess I want to compare in the January I think it was the January sketch box we received the Cotman tube paint and I really liked it there was nothing wrong with the Cotman tube paint sometimes however when you go to a pan they are a little bit more dry and you they kind of ru can ruin their your brush so I want to try it out I've always bought tube paints even a long time ago when I was watercoloring. You know, I bought, if I bought Cotman, I bought it in the tubes, not in pans. But I thought this was a cute little set and I still have a couple people in mind that won't mind if I test it out, then gift it or keep it for kids that come over that want to do watercolor. So I picked that up. I grabbed three different types of artist tape. I bought the quarter inch, I think this is quarter inch, three eighths, and one eighth size. But I also wanted some for art and for chart making. So I could make my watercolor charts a little bit neater. And so I picked up a bunch of different ones to try and see what, what I like best for putting down on the paper and what pulls off easier. I picked up some Prismacolor neons to add some neon highlights to things. I'm kind of going through a neon phase. If you're not familiar with Jackson's, they are an art supply store out of the UK. They have really great prices. And if you want Daniel Smith pan paints, they now sell those. And I put my order in kind of when they were questioning whether mail from overseas was going to close down. You can expedite your order for $10 for your whole order. And I mean, so that was the shipping everything, $10 to get it in one to three days. And I think I received it in three days. It's only a little bit more to do the expedited shipping from there. And so you can have supplies that you're really interested in in just a couple days. They have individual tubes of the Winsor & Newton, um, individual pans and tubes of Schmincke, basically any brand you can think of, I I really think they carry it. 
it was a I mean I actually had a lot of fun shopping on their website I'll put a link below I'm not affiliated with them but I really enjoyed the shopping experience and how fast I can get supplies that like the Schminka watercolor pans are normally you can't get them cheap online and my local art stores don't sell the Schminka and it was like four or five dollars for the Hordam Aquarelle and I picked up the Brilliant Opera Rose for my Schminka set. So, and of course, each each one is priced a little bit differently depending on the pigments used, etc. But they're definitely cheaper than I could find them anywhere here. To pay that extra shipping, if you're going to do a big order, or I, I don't even want to say it, so mine wasn't even a big order. But just know you can get, you can now get Daniel Smith in these pans which it, in singles. So if you have a favorite color in Daniel Smith and you want it in a pan to put it in a travel palette or something, know that Jackson's is now carrying that. I just needed a Schminka because I bought a bunch of other watercolor sets. So Jackson had a lot of color charts that you can order. You can order hand painted color charts. I didn't do that. They were a little bit more expensive and I had some of the paints and I thought, eh, I'll just paint my own. But you just know for the gouache and you can get hand painted charts that already have the paints on them and you can then just inventory your paints. But I, I picked up a bunch of their color charts. They have the White Knights color chart. I just find that then it's easier for me to look up a paint that I might want to pick up. I got the gouache, the aquarelle, and these were free to pick up through Jackson's with your order. Um, Holbein gouache. And Sennelier. So I, I was kind of excited about that because I, you know, I like looking at color charts, you know, maybe when I don't want to, when I'm wanting a new color or questioning where my color lies within a, a color, well, within the color chart. You know, is it a warmer or cooler, or if I need light fast information. So I just thought it was nice that they offered these free with an order. I also picked up the Roman Smalls Aquarius, one of the Aquarius sets. They have three different sets available in a 12 paint set. The set runs, I think it was about $44 for this set. And this is kind of for faces and just about anything. You have your two yellows, your cool and warm. You have your cool and warm reds, cool and warm blues. You get a purple gray. Yeah, so can you see? Um, Prisby's gray. I don't know how to say that name, but that's this is his palette, and so it includes his gray. You get a phthalo green, another warm yellow, a warm red. I could put Mordom, which is your deadhead paint, which I love and is awesome in landscapes and such, and a Van Dyke brown. I liked this set for some of the neutrals in it, and it also had another set of reds and yellows for portraits. So it's kind of like you're getting three yellows, three reds, and two blues. And you actually could even use this purple for a skin tone shadow. Because I paint people more than I paint other things. This this one spoke to me. They have a bot botanical set. So if you like painting, painting floral, I almost picked up because the paint, the individual paint pans of this set are really inexpensive. So two to five dollars. Um, this is a cardboard box. I guess that's the only downfall I can see. So it's kind of set up like the Tambia uh, Kuretake sets. I'll just open one of these. So color. It's a little sticky, so I'll have to put those in the freezer for a little bit. But full-size pans of, of the colors. And I've heard, if you go to Jane Blundell's blog, she has, oh, I should show you, I guess. 
So that's a pretty large pan. It will fit. So here's comparing a large pan that's in my Schminka. So same size. So that's probably what I will do is just pick up another tin to put my Roman Smalls paints in. I'm going to do an unboxing of this and uh, swatching later. So I'm just going to wrap that back up like I'm fooling any of you, right? So I'm, you know, I'm excited to now. I mean, I wasn't sure if these would be large like the the Kiritaki pans where they wouldn't fit in anything. See, because the Kiritaki are large in comparison. I'll just leave that little guy out. And I wasn't sure what, you know, you can't really tell. It says full size pans, but I couldn't really tell on the website what if they were going to be like the Kiritaki or if they would fit. But I'm excited to find out that they will fit. So I will get a pick up a tin on probably on Amazon to put them in. But these are the Roman Smalls. And here again is the colors. Um, so if you if you've never heard of these paints before, go check out Jane Blundell's blog. I think it's Google Jane Blundell. Maybe I'll try to find a link to her website too. She's tested. She's out of Australia. She's tested think every brand. So if you're wondering and want somebody's opinion and see swatches of the paints, go to her website. She's amazing. So those are the Roman Smalls. And those I haven't been able to find here in the United States. So if you know of somewhere in the United States that sells those, I picked up some of the mask pen. This is the one Heikola uses. I actually have this fine line resist that I picked up at Michael's when I had a coupon and I had hit or miss. I don't know if it was the paper in the February art challenge in the Arteza sketchbook, but this really tore up my paper. So I really wanted to try the mask pen and see if it's any better or if it was my paper. And this is pretty expensive. You can get it on Blick and Amazon, but it was so much cheaper to buy it from Jackson's. So that is what I did. So this is out of the UK mask pen compared to fine line resist made in the USA, but the same kind of nibs, airtight nibs. And I got the fine tip bottle. Yeah, so I bought this, a fine tip, the super fine tip and a refill bottle. I don't know what I did with those. I must've put those away because I'm not seeing them. I really need to get to, um, reorganizing my workspace. It, it has become a little bit overrun lately. Other thing I found on on Jackson's was paper samples. Now I never thought paper was that important. You know it was just something I mean I because I bought arches and B cotton paper and it met most of my needs for watercolor. So I wasn't really interested. I mean, I've tried like the Arteza sketchbooks. Had I noticed it was pulp paper, I wouldn't have purchased it. Because with watercolors, you really want cotton because that helps with the spread of the paint. If you think about how how cotton absorbs, it's it, you know, it's gonna suck it in and and spread it out. Whereas pulp paper is really dense and wood usually and other fibers that aren't necessarily absorbent. So, I mean, just it'll absorb a little bit, but not as well as cotton. So they had, some of these were free. Some of these were anywhere from 50 cents to $3, but I want to try, you know, this is all their different colors of paper by Stonehenge. And I wanted to try them all out and just see how I like different colors on different paper. You know, like the blue watercolor paper, kind of a yellow tan. Most of this is their watercolor. As I said, each, yeah, I'm not sure I received all of my, cause you can get one of these per order. And I was trying out the Yupa paper, Yupo paper. So I hope they refunded me because some of, I mean, these were all like, you either got a set of three or you could buy these individually. And I wanted, I got two sets of three and some individual ones. And I thought I had picked up two of these because I was interested in this little, I love this Stonehenge white that I used during 
from the January palette pack. And I wanted some little papers. So I picked up those. A set of three was about $3. And some of them were like $1.21 or something. But I picked up those for smaller artwork and and art trading cards. I was also started thinking that this would be a good way to get into making smaller art or mini art and making some trading cards. On that same note from Amazon, I picked up some Prima watercolor paper as well as some Strathmore artist trading card paper and some card sleeves. And I, I jumped around from store to store, but from Jerry's Artorama, I picked up the Lucas Aquarelle 1862 set. It was the cheapest I had seen it. Amazon, it's usually about, I think, is it 50 or $60? And I found this for $39. So I grabbed it. I've been wanting to try the Lucas. I had bought other ones and so I wasn't going to buy it, but because it was the lowest price I've ever seen them, I grabbed it. Because I was going to just try the three primaries. I actually had them in my cart several times. And by the time I added up, you know, it would have been half, half the cost of this whole set. It was a really good deal. So I grabbed it because it's watercolors and I wanted to try them and see if this is a good set for beginners or advanced artists, Lucas. I also picked up from yeah Jerry's Artorama with my brushes, some of this core watercolor. If you haven't seen it, it has this watercolor medium that makes it flow really well in water. I picked up some of the medium, again, lots cheaper on Jerry's Artorama or from Jackson's. If you're tempted to go to Amazon for this, it's $10. I was able to get it on Jerry's Artorama for $6. So save yourself $4, go to Jerry's Artorama. And I'm new to shopping at Jerry's Artorama, but seeing their specials and prices, I'm really liking it. I love Dick Blick and I love Dick Blick's shipping practices. They're awesome. Like they, they pack everything so it's safe. But I have to say, Jerry's Artorama packed this in a ton of bubble wrap. So it, it arrived safely. And these are the six core introductory set. I should have probably waited for a sale to pick these up rather than just picking them up willy-nilly. But I had watched another YouTube video where I saw them see how that looks. Like how, like, am I going to like? These are really wee. These are the, I think, five milliliters. Yeah. So just tiny tubes for $23. So that, that's a little, I mean, I, you know, I probably read that, but I forgot. So this is the introductory set. So it has a yellow, red, blue, two blues, two reds, a yellow, and a burnt sienna. So, I mean, I guess I would have rather had another yellow. And then you get another little core color chart with that. But I'm excited to, I like a little bit more control in my watercolor. And so... I don't know how these will be, you know, like, will they be easy to use or will that spread cause more of an issue than that, you know, a little less control over where my paint is spreading, but I'm excited to try it. And I also bought the medium so that I could try it with my Daniel Smith paints because you could just add this medium to other brands and have that same flow or a similar flow. I don't know if it'll be exactly the same. Then I also, from Jerry's Artorama, picked up the Turner Artist watercolor. Those were on sale for like $22. I've heard good and bad things. Some people love them. Some people hate them. Some say the tubes are only half full. Some say they're crap paint. I don't know. I, and you know, for 20 bucks, I was willing to find out myself. You know, I like reviews, but I also like to try things myself and figure it out, you know, figure out, is it something I could use in my sketchbook? Is it something that, you know, they provide the light fastness and transparency? You know, I'm, I don't know. I, I was, to me, it was worth trying. I believe these are out of Japan. Yes, a Japanese brand. 
Mark Turner artist watercolors and the smaller tubes but I wanted to try them and again I usually like tubes over pans I just tend to find they perform better than their pan siblings so this is kind of what I purchased but I still have two things that arrived in the mail this past week so this is just this past week's art haul again I picked up a lot of watercolors with some stress buying but I but everything I feel like I got everything at a really good deal the core is the only thing I think I paid full price for so I'm not that upset about it you know like I they were on my wish list and there were so many specials I don't know if you've been watching but there there have been so many sales out there I don't know if companies are worrying about people running out of money or not spending but they're offering a lot of sales so I was able to pick up you know these two were on my or I should say the core the Roman Smalls and the Lucas have been on my list you know the the cheaper ones I wasn't planning to get but they were at a price that I thought you know what why don't I pick them up and just see how I feel about them for me it's always nice to have extras on hand for kids that are maybe a little bit better quality than their you know elementary paint set so I'm not opposed to having those on hand I picked up look at this packaging isn't it pretty this is the nibs pens and inks out of the uk they have an etsy store so again nibs pens and inks i'm gonna just open this look at i waited for you to open it so i'm not gonna open the little packages i'm just gonna pull out and see what we have here <gasps> look some little treats. I got the mini neons. Aren't they cute? They're they're just I wasn't sure a lot of sellers had neons, and so I thought, well, why not try the mini set first? Um, as I said, I've kind of had a little fascination with the neons again. That's why I picked up the neon pencils. And then these are just some of the other colors I picked up, but look at they're all wrapped like candy. Isn't that cute? She sent some dot samples. Oh, and look at a little hand painted card. And it has her information on it. So check out her Etsy store. She has some really beautiful colors. Look at that. Oh, just, just beautiful some free samples so it suggests putting paints in your freezer in case they're sticking so I picked up the Lolita color the neon minis and I can't remember what these seven are or eight and then two candies and then she sent samples of I can't read some of those Sagand yeah you know like difficult names but look at that so besides all the paints I already I purchased she sent me three samples to try out I'm she had a rune, a rune set and they were all just these beautiful colors and look at her packaging I just bright pink I'm you know I'm a fan of pinks and fuchsias and stuff so yeah, I'm really excited about that. I will be doing a full unboxing of the Nibs, Pens and Inks, Nether Cottage, um, out of the UK, watercolors. Uh, let's see. And this is, I think this is, I don't know, let's open it. This is the Quart Quartz Creations. Yes, this is Quartz Creations. I want to open it, um, but I'm going to save that. So look how cute that's packaged. From her store, I picked up 
her sketch dots, her ghost palette. I'm really excited to show you the ghost palette because it is like just you wait, wait and see. Just wait and see. If you're curious, I'm sure you can go look elsewhere. But some sketch paints and then some other samples because oh, her paints are beautiful. And I'm really excited to try these out and tell you more about them. And I will do that in an unboxing. You know, so sorry. If you want to see that, hit the notification button. But the ghost paints are just amazing. And I haven't seen them anywhere else. So Quartz Creations. She does have an Etsy shop, but she also has her own website. I will try to put a link below so you can check out her paints. She has a beautiful sketch set, the ghosts, she has neons, and she has some beautiful indigos. So check out Quartz Creations. And, la and she's out of the UK as well. So both of these made it, uh, these and the Jacksons made it fine from Europe this week. I also received my March scrawler box, so that just came. And also my, is this, I don't know. I think this is the February or up crate. I'm still expecting the March. So this one, I ended up ordering it because it was the watercolor. So there'll be a video on that. But he is back to pens for March. So yeah, everybody's doing pens for March. It's just sad. One more thing came in the mail and this is my, this is from Let's Make Art. I decided at the moment to not, I wasn't really interested in, blue is my least favorite color and that's the journal this month for April was going to be blues and that didn't excite me and I you know and I was gonna just buy it for you guys to to just play around you know and then I decided you know that's $35 I can pick up the Lucas um, paint or you know so so I apologize I will not be demonst I will I will have the March videos uh you know time lapse videos of me painting the two March, the, the Let's Make Art box, but I won't have Let's Make Art for April. I will wait and see for the May boxes, but again, and the watercolor Let's Make Art box, I really liked the carrot painting for April, but I really didn't care for the duck or the boots or the eggs. And I just, you know, I just didn't, I just wasn't feeling it. And I'm, I guess I'm not gonna buy something just because I love the company and I have loved all their other boxes I've received. I'm going to buy what I want to and what is appealing to me to paint. And that set just wasn't. And so I think maybe what I'll talk about again is maybe they're this month do a talk about their online classes and a little bit more about their website and how you can get the outlines. So look for that. So but from them this month, I still tried to order some things. I bought, I had one of these Lyra graphite big basically pencil crayons. This is a 2B water soluble graphite. And I had one, I can't find it. So I thought, you know, I'm going to grab one of those. And then as I've been telling you, I have an obsession with neons. So I've just been wanting to try out neon paints for highlights and skies. And this is the Uli, it's student grade, I believe. You know, it was a full range of neon watercolors where, um, yeah, I, I'm going to have, I actually realized this is a tin, but I had ordered three and I only received one. Yeah, it was her because I wanted a pan for my neons, a pan for, my I got some metallic paints and then just some plain paints so I will have to call her either she was out or there was just a mistake in the order but so I, I picked up her set of seven neons 
the neon minis because it's purple, blue, pink, orange, red, yellow, and green. You know, these are probably going to be more opaque. I was looking for a very transparent set of neons. So, and like I said, these are student grade. You know, they're not going to be amazing. But I thought to play around with color and the neon color, I grabbed that from Let's Make Art. Now that is it. Let me know what you loved and what you have been coveting yourself. If there's anything, what you're most interested in seeing me do a video on, because that kind of can help me prioritize. And I'm ex I'm really excited about the handmade paints because these are this and the Julie K and Poems About You are my first handmade watercolors. So I'm excited to see the difference between those and my Daniel Smith. And I'm hoping to find my favorite homemade watercolor artisan. So stay tuned on this channel because I will be trying several different brands over the next year of handmade paints. Just let me know. Let me know what you think. I'm trying not to feel guilty about buying things because... You know, it's all going to get used. It's just, will it get used in a timely manner? I guess if I feel guilty about anything, it's that because I want to play with everything. And when you have so much new stuff, it's really hard to decide which one you really want to try. So, you know, I'm more excited about the handmade and the Roman smalls at this point and the core. Um, some of the other stuff, but I'm excited about the micro brushes for sketching and trying my hand at more ink sketching and see if I can handle not using pencil. Anyway, so that's my art haul for this week, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you got some ideas for stuff that's out there. I know I'm probably just feeding your addiction for things, but kind of all over the price range here. I don't think, yeah, so nothing, except for the handmade paints, nothing was over $50, you know? So everything was reasonable. All right, I'm Ari. This is Shamelessly Creative, and I'm shamelessly addicted. Well, I don't know if shamelessly. I, I probably am not shamelessly addicted. I am just plain addicted to watercolors, and it shows, doesn't it? So let me know in the comments what you think, and if you have a similar addiction. I'd love to hear about it, and what are your favorite art supplies to collect. Have a great day, and go get creative. Bye.